Welcome back. We're going to spend a little more time today designing our strawberry troughs. Eventually we'll get to the end of this whole series. These videos are brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are TrueAquaponics.com, GlassBottleOutlet.com, GrowPockets.com, and our latest supporter, Aquaponics.ai. Thanks for your support. Once again, I'll subject you to some of my fine drawing skills. The system that NGS has is they essentially have taken a, a piece of a steel girder and that runs along here and is a, has a essentially a V-shape to it. And then it has this bottom bar with it and then it uses these cross members and it makes a really nice long rigid uh, section. And these girders are used uh, in the construction industry for um, making flooring and filling it in with concrete. So it's essentially a fancy rebar. And then inside of that um, they have a some type of a liner that um, just holds the water. The nice thing about this is um, when they suspend it they can run really long lengths of it and only hold a certain areas which is nice. However, um, it does put a lot of load on the greenhouse in these one spots and if you look at any videos where these have been installed uh, they're put into really large greenhouses that can are designed to uh, support that kind of load which I don't have um, so um, skipping you know 20 30 feet at a time isn't a very big deal for them to do that so uh, mimicking exactly what they do really uh, isn't a good option for me I came across uh, some videos by the University of Arizona where they essentially have taken uh, their two bars. I'm just going to draw the one here. And then they are able to hang uh, some Beto buckets from them, like this. Uh, so, from a side view, if you have two pieces of piping, the buckets have nice big lips on them. And then go down, back up and over that pipe. And then there's uh, chains or something that uh, go up to the upper area. So that's actually a, a pretty appealing way to do it. However, if I draw out a few more buckets, I have all my support wires coming down like this. And what's going to happen is if I use buckets like this, the lengths are going to interfere with the chains where they hold it in because that bucket consumes this whole part of the bar. So I have no way of connecting uh, anything into it. So I'd actually would have to find some type of a, a container that was exactly, you know, three feet, 11 inches or something so that I could have one here and then an another one right next to it to go in between the lines. So that, um, really doesn't work out very well for me. Another issue that I have with these buckets is if you have these buckets set up down the line there needs to be a drain hole in them for the water to get out and now you need to have some type of a, a gutter collection system underneath this um, to uh, trap all your water. So not only do we have the, the pipes mechanism up in here to hold the buckets in place but now we need some way to interconnect the top with the bottom so when you drop the buckets in um, they're in line perfectly with the gutter uh, so that really starts to get expensive dealing with the gutter and dealing with these buckets the buckets are cool but um, I'm not really willing to spend that kind of money on them quite yet all right, I think that's enough of the lowbrow drawings. Uh, you might recall last time I had made up this uh, belt and clip assembly, and its purpose was to uh, interconnect into uh, these troughs that I'm working on now. So what I think I'm going to do is um, make up this 
bracket here, just a piece of conduit that's uh, crimped and bent with a hole drilled into it, and then I can get these clamps uh, to go into piping. And then the uh, piping will just be standard uh, three-quarter inch uh, electrical conduit that will go all the way down uh, to the other end. And that's the main frame of everything. So overall, uh, that's going to be a very light uh, setup to do something like that. And then the plan is to use some ultra scrim and essentially just make a, a sling that uh, goes down in here and goes up and around. And I can cut out around uh, where it would interfere and then uh, it loops over uh, the conduit. And that will just be held in place um, with some uh, clips here. It just clips right onto that frame. And then I'm going to add in some weed barrier, which will meet around this. But you'll see down in here there is going to be a gap. So the premise is, is that the plants will be in this area and uh, the water will be able to pass through the weed barrier, but the uh, roots shouldn't. So that'll leave a nice open way for the uh, water to drain out of the system. And then one little tiny detail is I'm going to add some end caps into the piping because nobody likes spiders jumping out at them when you lower something down and they like to hide in here. So there'll just be a couple plugs in here. These I could just purchase, but with a 3D printer, I can just print out as many as I want for just pennies. In this end section, I'm not 100% sure on it, but I think I can just take the scrim and if it's longer, um, heat seal the end of it and just pinch off the end. So it sort of makes the whole thing look like a, a big canoe now. And that should contain everything. I'm gonna turn that back off just so we have some clarity of how that is. And then I didn't draw it in, but I'll probably just put a bulkhead fitting um, in the bottom section here so that the water can uh, drain out through that. But with the trough here, I have a couple of choices. One is just to fill this whole thing with expanded shale and plant the plants right in here. And that's a lot of weight to have to deal with. So I'm leaning more towards of just putting a um, styrofoam my raft board on the top of this and let it sit on here. So what that looks like is it just be rabbited on the ends um, down in this section and that would allow it to sit on the uh, conduit and uh, not slide back and forth so it's sort of uh, trapped in here and then uh, alternate some holes in here to uh, hold the plants uh, and then I was thinking about just alternating the, the holes in here, get a little bit more uh, real estate in here. Every four foot section I have it set up to hold eight plants. And I can then uh, use with these two inch holes uh, either grow grips or uh, net pots to, to hold the plants into place. So the, the plants will be sitting in here and the roots will just be uh, suspended down in here. Um, I didn't draw it in, but I'd probably just run a, a line of water going down right through the center of this with some taps on it that can then drip onto each root. Again, I'm not exactly sure how effective that will be, but um, this is going to be the first stage of just trying to drip irrigate the uh, plants versus dealing with the weight of filling this whole thing in with shale to, to keep the roots wet. So uh, that's just going to be sort of more of a long-term experiment. And then, of course, um, once the plants are all in here, um, it would look uh, something like that. So that's the general overlook of what that entire trough is going to look like. And then inside the greenhouse, um, each set of these would be hanging like this. And when one went, goes up, the other one comes down and allows you to walk underneath one and then harvest the strawberries from the other one. It's actually looking like with my setup, um, I didn't draw them in, but there's going to be two additional sets or a total of uh, six of these troughs. I might be able to actually get them a little bit closer together. Um, you start dealing with some airflow issues and whatnot, so I might leave it like this and just put the six across here and uh, set them up like this. Okay, I've made up a whole bunch of parts just to see how this all goes together. So let's see what happens here. Of 
course, we can't forget our valuable end cap. And this is my ultra scrim. I don't have a, a piece of the filter fabric here, so we're gonna use our imagination, pretend uh, the top layer is the filter fabric and the bottom layer is the regular ultra scrim. that goes on there like that and then just sort of creates that gap underneath there that looks pretty good I didn't cut off a big piece just a little small scrap one so that's not the right width I also crudely cut out a sample cover Of course, our grow grip with a plant in it. The whole thing can hang. Of course, these will just start bowing down on their own under the weight of whatever roots or water that's in here. So I think that should work out uh, fairly well. I think that's a good time to stop this part of the video and next time we should be able to start building everything and getting it hanging in the greenhouse. Thanks for watching.